Hi guys, it's Shirt PC Repairs 101. So today I've got this HP. We're going to go fit this solid state drive into it. So this is a video for anyone who just wants to upgrade the hard drive to a solid state drive or they just want to replace the hard drive because it's faulty. So this particular model, it's a HP 15 slash DB0002NA laptop. So I'll show you how to replace the uh, SSD or upgrade it to an SSD from a hard drive or just replace the hard drive. So first of all, quite straightforward, you've got one, two, three, four screws. So let's undo them. Cool. So now we've undone done them, we've actually got some hidden screws. So under these little plastic covers, these little plastic strips, we carefully just lift it up. They're just stuck down with adhesive. Be careful not to break them. <laughs> they are very, very fragile, just like that. I mean, when you put them back on, it will hide the fact that they're broken. To be honest with you, this is the first one that's broken t once, let alone twice. So. This rubber is obviously quite frail. I'll blame it on that and not myself. But yeah, there we go. So there's one. Now we're just going to take off the second one. So very carefully we're going to peel that off. As so. So this one's come off quite easy with the adhesive. The other one, the adhesive is still on the base. That doesn't matter. Just keep the, the adhesive tape from getting you know dirty so it loses its stick but now we're just going to undo these screws so we've got one two three four five six and seven let's just tip this over so these screws come out these screws they're still stuck in uh, they are unscrewed, but the adhesive is kind of just like holding them in place. So I'm just going to leave them. So now what we want to do is flip it over. We want to get our little plastic tool. We just want to get it in between the palm rest and the base. As you can see, we've just got this little gap. We could just get our tool around. Now we can flip it upside down simply just pull the base up very carefully and there we go now we've exposed the uh, internals of the laptop so first of all we're going to remove the battery so we've got one two screws here we're just doing this so that we don't short circuit the device at all or we'll risk you know shorting it out when we're removing hardware so we'll just Remove the battery, flip it upside down, we'll just hold the power button for about five seconds just to deplete any leftover charge that may be in the laptop that might cause it to short circuit. So now we've done that, all we've got to do is remove the hard drive or replace it with either a replacement hard drive or in this instance a solid state drive. So we can just lift this up. If you see we've got a screw here and we've got a screw here so we just need to, need to mirror this to the solid state drive so this is a 240 gigabyte solid state drive that i'm upgrading it to i can post a link in the description on where to get these drives super super cheap uh, next day delivery of amazon prime in the uk really really good service i would recommend it so one two now we've got the solid state drive, now we can fit it. 
So we just slot that in the opposite way, so the way we took it out. And now we can just screw it back up the way that we unscrewed it. So one, two. Cool, so now we've fitted the solid state drive, we just need to fit the battery back in. So it just goes back in the opposite, you've just got some clips here that they kind of fit into. Once we've done that, we can now put the screws back in. So you've got one screw, I've fitted them into the solid state, but I wasn't supposed to do that, I don't think. So we've got one and two. Yep. So then these screws go into the, where the hard drive is. So let's put the case back on, make sure it's all fitted in flush. Now we can just start doing it back up again. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then eleven. Then we just put the plastic covers back on, so we just carefully fit these back on. Although this has torn, when I put it back in it should all still fit very flush, so you could barely even notice. There we go. And that is how you replace a or upgrade to a solid state drive on a HP 15 DA0002NA laptop.